Now we start with our top story where EDUCOR must reimburse students and stop all registrations with immediate effect. And that's according to Higher Education Minister Bladin Zamande. He has labelled the four deregistered EDUCOR colleges as dysfunctional. He says there's also been concerns of corruption and bribery. And Zamande was speaking in Pretoria just not too long ago. The four EDUCOR brands can be deemed as dysfunctional. And this is mainly measured against the daily complaints and grievances received from students, most of which remain unresolved. Now, here then are also the complaints received from students. And I want to outline these so that the media is clear about what we are dealing with. For some time, our directorate that deals with private higher education institutions has been receiving many complaints from students against the EDUCO institutions, most of which remain unresolved. And these complaints relate to the following. Bear with me, I want to mention all of them. Poor quality of teaching and learning. Lack of proper administrative support. Poorly qualified staff. Corruption and bribery. Lack of response for requests for refunds. Lack of professionalism. Exploitation of poor students. Non-payment of staff salaries and underpayment of staff salary. 